in this video i will show you another example of clipper circuit this is the circuit structure of this clipper circuit and here we have to draw the output waveform for this circuit here we will apply a triangular waveform with maximum value 20 volt minimum value minus 20 volt here this SI means that this diode is made of silicon you will see here we have a bias voltage of 5 volt so at first step we have to find out the transition voltage To calculate transition voltage, we will start our analysis from that half cycle that will connect this diode at the same polarity as this bias voltage. See the positive terminal of this bias voltage will be connected with the P side of the diode and negative terminal will be connected with the N side of the diode. When this input will be at negative half cycle, this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative this positive terminal will be connected with the p side and the negative terminal will be connected with the n side that means both this 5 volt and the input voltage will try to drive the diode in forward bias during the negative half cycle so our transition voltage will not have any negative value so i can conclude that our transition voltage will have a positive value and see here during this negative half cycle our diode will be in forward bias okay the input voltage greater than the transition voltage our diode will be in reverse bias now let me find out that transition voltage now consider the positive half cycle of the input voltage during the positive half cycle of the input voltage this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative here we will have total two voltage sources one is this bias voltage another is this applied input voltage okay when we have more than one energy sources in a circuit usually we apply superposition theorem to calculate the total effect now let's say at first i will consider the effect of this input voltage at that time i will replace this voltage source with a short circuit see during positive half cycle this input voltage will try to flow the current let's say that current is id1 the direction of id1 will be in this direction i am saying the input voltage will try to flow the current in this direction i am not saying that the input voltage will flow the current in this direction i am talking about the input voltage will try to flow the current in this direction because when a diode will be in reverse bias there will be no current that is why i am using the word trying this input voltage will try to conduct the current in this direction that means in this downward direction okay now if i consider the effect of this 5 volt i will mentally replace this input voltage source with a short circuit so if you consider the effect of 5 volt you will see this terminal is the positive terminal and this terminal is the negative terminal this 5 volt will try to conduct the current in this direction in the circuit this 5 volt will try to conduct the current in this direction so the direction of current for this 5 volt source through the diode will be in this direction let's say i denote that current with id2 ID1 is flowing in this direction and ID2 will flow in this direction. Now to minimize the effect of this bias voltage, that means I am considering the total current ID as the difference of ID1 and ID2. Now to minimize the effect of this bias voltage, I have to apply an input voltage VI exactly 5 volt equal to 5 volt that will flow the current in this direction and it will minimize the effect of this bias voltage that means the difference between id1 and id2 will be equal to 0 ampere the value of the input voltage for which the effect of this bias voltage will be minimized such that the current in this direction and the current in this direction that means the current through the diode will be equal to zero or the current in the circuit will be equal to zero 
that voltage will be our transition voltage and here V i equal to 5 volt will be our transition voltage. Now look here, if I indicate the V i equal to 5 volt here, the voltage greater than this transition voltage our diode will be in reverse bias so I have separated the region in which the diode will be in forward bias and I have separated the region in which the diode will be in reverse bias now let me show you how to draw the output waveform from this circuit let's say input voltage is greater than transition voltage in that case our diode will be in reverse bias this diode will be in reverse bias so i will replace this diode with an open circuit if i replace this diode with an open circuit that means i, I will remove this diode see as this branch gets opened therefore i can remove this entire branch from our original network if i remove the entire branch from the network you will see in the circuit our total current i will be equal to zero therefore i r voltage drop across this 10 kilo ohm resistor will be equal to zero our output voltage will be equal to input voltage see from this point to this point our input is greater than transition voltage see from this point to this point our input voltage will be greater than transition voltage in that case our output will follow the input waveform therefore our output from this point to this point will take a waveform like this this will be a pure triangular so from this point to this point our output will follow the input waveform so it will have maximum value equal to 20 volt okay and this voltage level is equal to 5 volt now let me consider this case when our input voltage will be less than the transition voltage in that case the diode will be in forward bias as the diode is in forward bias i will replace the diode with a voltage source of 0.7 volt if this is our diode i will replace it with a point voltage source of 0.7 volt like this see the positive terminal of the voltage source will be at the p side of the of the diode and the negative terminal will be at the n side of the diode see if i replace the silicon diode with a 0.7 volt source our circuit will look like this now see the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal will be equal to 4.3 volt because here we have two voltage sources connected in series in opposite polarity therefore i have to take the output voltage vo equal to 5 volt minus 0.7 volt this 5 volt will try to keep this terminal at higher potential and this terminal at lower potential simultaneously this 0.7 volt will try to keep this terminal at lower potential and this terminal at higher potential so if i consider the mutual effect i will get 4.3 volt see from this point to this point our input is less than the transition voltage so here we will have a voltage of 4.3 volt see from this point to this point our input is less than transition voltage I, I have already said this is our 5 5 volt level so this will be our 4.3 volt from this point to this point our input is less than transition voltage so I will get voltage of 4.3 volt from this point to this point okay so this will be the complete wave output waveform for this circuit now i will show you a simulation so you can get the verification of my circuit analysis now let me run the simulation of this circuit see this is the input and this is the output waveform of the circuit the red waveform indicates the input waveform and the green waveform indicates the output waveform see our input will have maximum value around 20 volt and minimum value of minus 20 volt okay now see the output voltage see from this point to this point from this point to this point our output voltage will follow the input waveform and this is the voltage when the input voltage is greater than the transition voltage 
and after that our output voltage will be fixed at a voltage of around 4.3 i have shown you here it is 4.42 volt okay that's it thank you